What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Insurance Auto Auctions for our first Insurance Auto Auction walk around of the week. We're going to get started with a BMW. So I'm actually kind of interested in this one. It's a 2001 BMW 330i. It's a very clean car. It's got nice paint. The sunroof uh, wind deflector there is kind of coming off and it looks like the sunroof isn't closed all the way. And it is packed in here tight. I mean, it is, it's gonna be real tight to get in here today. Uh, yeah, that sunroof looks like it's a little bit open there. Uh, I'm trying to make sure I can fit through here. We got a, what is this? A Ventus V2 Concept 2. What do we got over here? The door's open. Let's go ahead and close that. Keep, it's supposed to storm tonight. I wanna keep the, uh, the weather out of these cars. Uh, this is a Ventus as well. Let's take a look at the back here. She looks good, doesn't she? I think this is a very clean old Beamer. And look at the tread on the tires, man. It's got a full set of matching tires with excellent tread on them. She looks good. How I'm gonna get into this, I mean, you can see the, I, I, I don't know how that's supposed to even work. Um, yeah, golly, I don't know if I can, I may have to, I may have to climb over. I don't know. Let's take a look in the back seat real quick. Very nice headliner. Very nice as well. Good paint. Good tires. This is one I'm. I'm. If I let me see if I can. Oh goodness. I may have gained some weight, guys. Lord. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, bejeweled. All right. Here we go. It's dead. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? You're dead? Is somebody left the ignition on or something? Or I don't know. Great. We got that BMW business CD. Automatic transmission. It's a little dirty on this door panel, but nothing that won't clean up. I've got to, I got to climb out of this thing. I think I'm just going to climb over the seat, guys. I do. I think I'm just going to, I'm just going to climb over the seat and climb up out of here there we go that's just the ah oh, jeez. that's just the best thing i can do right now let's go ahead and pop the hood and we're gonna come looking up under here anyway right all right bmws and their cooling systems am i right <laughs> yeah i'm right you know i'm right <laughs> <laughs> Don't play. You know I'm right. You got a new hose here. This will be, I believe this is your secondary air injection pump right here. These are notorious for going bad. It looks like somebody put a relatively new hose on there. Um, ah. That's always something good. Ooh. <laughs> Cooling system leaks. Okay. Look down in there, guys. Like, yeah. Cooling system leaks. Now, somebody left that loose. Probably for a reason. Probably a blown head gasket. I don't know. We'll see. Got a new uh, new hose down there. A Gates hose. Fan clutch. Feels relatively firm. Also notice we got a headlight just kind of... Well, that's a blown headlight is what that is. Just chilling down there. Not even in its hole. Oh, it melted it. So that headlight's been, uh, that headlight's been damaged inside very nice yeah we're learning all kinds of things about this let me grab the booster pack guys we'll fire it up real quick and uh take a closer look all right we got the booster pack hooked up let's try to climb back into this thing and i'm not going back to the driver's side guys not gonna happen if i can just there we go power steering feels good that's that's how we're going to do it right there. I'm not climbing back in. We're not going to see if it goes forward and backwards. Does the important window work? Yes, it does. All right, like I said, steering feels good. 109,000 miles on the odometer. Airbag light. Um, I feel a little bit of a misfire. Not too bad, but I do feel a little bit of a misfire. It's kind of coming and going. She does have coolant in her though. I hear the secondary air injection pump as well. Uh, AC is on, I believe. 
yeah ac is on and it is nice and cold you, you guys know how i feel about air conditioning driver's seat's in really good condition i mean it seems to run great let's go back out and uh gotta be very careful i'm trying my best not to nick or ding any of these cars out here well the engine is smooth as silk man very nice very nice all right obviously she's not misfiring now i am very concerned though seeing these new hoses under here and then seeing we got stop leak and someone had left the radiator cap loose or the uh, the expansion tank cap loose. Uh, I doubt that was by accident, guys. I doubt that was by accident. So either it may have a, a slightly leaking head gasket or we've definitely got some damage to the cooling system that somebody tried repairing with lots of different types of stop leak. Uh, maybe an overheating condition. How badly has it been overheated? Is the engine damaged? I don't know. I don't know, but I can tell you from what I've seen, just in the short time we've looked at this car so far, I am 100% not interested in it. It looks good on the outside, but on the inside, I feel like this one's trouble. So we're going to move on to the next one. But before we do, I wanted to show you, I went ahead and closed the sunroof. So uh, when these storms come rolling in this evening, the car is not going to end up flooded. So why would the sunroof be left open? Well, guys, I'm here to tell you, a lot of people come in to places like this. And a lot of people come through here and they check out the cars and they play with them and everything. Kind of like what we're doing here. The difference is some of these people don't have... They don't have very good manners, you know what I mean? They're just, they're just, they're not, they're not the nicest of people. So they'll come out here, open things up, roll windows down, they'll leave doors open, trunks open, and they don't care because it's not their car. And they just, they just don't care. So when I see something like that, if I'm out here and I'm walking around and I see a trunk open that can be closed or doors or windows, and I take an extra two seconds to walk over there, even if that means I got to hook up the booster pack and I close the windows, I close the doors. I do that kind of stuff because it's a respectful thing to do. It's the right thing to do. And I don't want to see anybody's personal property being damaged anymore. And I want somebody doing that to my personal property. All right, we're not going to look at this one, but I found one of my cars out here. Take a look at that. Yes, sir, there is one of my car. Why is the window taped up? Okay. They taped the window up. I appreciate that. They did a good job taping it up, but the switch is a little sticky. That's what it is. If you remember right, the switch on this is sticky. So uh, you got you to gotta play with it. It's not wet or anything. This is a good car. I bet, I bet you money she'd fire right up, but I'm not going to mess with it. I'm not going to mess with it. She's going down the road. The uh, 97 Crown Vic Police Interceptor. There she is. That's not all, guys. I found a couple more of my cars out here, too. There is the 2004 Chevy Monte Carlo. Yep. There she is, guys. And that's not all. We also got, I forget what year this is, 05 or something, the Volvo V70. The uh, all-wheel drive XC70 Volvo is sitting here as well. Heck, we just found three of our own cars. If we could only find two more, we'd be sitting fat. Let's see if we could find the next car on my list. Next, we have a 2011 Dodge Caliber. This is a pedal car. And I know, I know, I know. I see the comments already. I saw them last week, and I decided to wait until this week to explain what a pedal car is. Okay? People are generally scared of pedal cars because they equate pedal with junk. I'm not, I'm not hating on the company at all. I actually had a talk with them on the phone a year or two ago, and they explained to me in more detail what it is they do. If you go to their website, which is, I think it's pedal.com or something like that, you could Google pedal. Basically, they buy unwanted, sometimes junk cars that people just have sitting around. It's one of those quick, easy processes for people to just, you don't want to deal with customers. You just get rid of your car. You, you get a hold of pedal. I think you could do it all on their website and they make you an offer, you know, depending on how it runs and stuff. And they'll be like, here's your offer. If you want it, we'll come pick it up and give you a check and you're done with it. That's what pedal is. Yes, sometimes the cars are junk. Sometimes they're in really bad shape. And sometimes they're cars that people that had a lot of money just have sitting around and it's like, I don't want to deal with it. Just get rid of it. 
okay? So it's a mixed bag, as is everything that you're buying from an auto auction, okay? It's all gonna be a mixed bag. Some of the cars you get are gonna be great, some are gonna be good, and some are gonna be absolutely awful. But I figured we'd take a look at this 2011 Dodge Caliber, okay? She's got some decent Super Max tires on the back and the front, so it looks like we may actually have a set. We might actually have a set of Super Max tires here, guys. Yeah, the, it, the body actually looks really good. We do, we have a full set of Super Max tires. Hell yeah. It's actually a very clean car. Look at this. I don't know what the mileage is. We'll take a look up here, it should tell us. Right, a hundred and, I think that's a 190. It could be a 120, but uh, it's probably a 190. Battery is probably dead as a doornail. It's a good looking car. I mean, depending upon who you are, you know, obviously your taste may vary from mine. 147 is the mileage. Well, she started right up. She started right up. Obviously, this car is gonna be a clean title. It actually runs really well. Let's turn on that AC. And let's put her into gear. Backward. Whoa, what was that? Okay, it doesn't want to go backwards now. The brake is off, okay. It will. Okay. Huh. This is why you come out here and check them out for yourself, guys. The important window works. The air conditioning does not seem to be functioning. And the transmission, I would say, is... Uh, I, I would say the transmission is questionable, okay? I would not say the transmission is bad. I didn't pop the hood. Um, I was wondering if possibly the jerking that I was feeling from under there could have been a, uh, a bad CV axle. Front wheel drive cars, guys. CV axle brakes. And guess what? If it's the drive wheel, she's not gonna move, period. She's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, if it still catches from time to time, you may be able to get it to move a little bit forward or a little bit backwards, and then you'll start hearing a clunk, 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 clunk grinding. CV axle's not a big deal. Not a big deal to do on this car. I don't think it's a CV axle though, guys. I don't, that, uh, that didn't feel like a CV axle. And if you're wondering why I had my foot on the brake and I was basically like power torquing it, I had my foot on the brake and I was giving it some throttle to see if it would break the CV axle loose and you would start hearing it clunk, which it didn't, it didn't. It does not want to go backwards at all anymore. And even going forward seems like, oh, the AC is working now. Okay, so at some point it decided that it wanted to, to have air conditioning. Um, yeah. That's, okay. She's not gonna go backwards, guys. I was going to bid on this car. I thought, you know, I'd, I'd buy this for sure. Um, expect to do some work to it, but on this one, personally, I think there's a little more going on here than something like a CV axle. I think we actually have transmission damage in it. So let's move on to the next one. Next on my list, the 2007 Land Rover Range Rover. You guys tired of these yet? Cause uh, honestly, I, I think, I think I've, uh, I think I've had all the luck I'm gonna have with them. I don't think I should really push that any further. Clear coat peel on the hood. I'm not sure why this is here. It's it says total on the windshield. Um, I don't know, I don't, it's supercharged. Sitting down in the back, of course. Sitting down in the front as well. I don't see any any reason why this would be why this would be total, but you know maybe it was a theft recovery. That might be it. I don't know. I don't even know if it's for sure totaled. All I know is the windshield says total on it. Uh, maybe that means total detail. I don't I don't know what that means. Um, anyway, let's. Uh, you know it's going to be dead, right? 
Of course it's gonna be dead. Yeah, it's dead. Okay, let's pop the hood. Uh-oh. Let's hope the hood is already popped. That's what I was saying. Let's make sure, make sure the hood is already popped. I think it is. I think it is. All right. I should know where the uh, where the hood release is on this. I keep thinking it's like right here, but I can't. Uh, boy, that's a tough little bugger to get to. There it is. Oh my goodness. Hood struts are bad. Oh boy. They threw a quick disconnect for the electrical. Okay, so there's a possibility. We may just need to turn it on. Or that may have been, I don't know. Let's uh, let's check. See if anything has come to life in here. No, it hasn't. So I'm gonna need to get my booster pack, which means I gotta set you guys down for a minute. I can't do this one-handed. And we're back. I see flashing lights. That tells me that uh, we've got power. Oh, man, oh, man. Bonnet open, how cute. Let's turn off the hazards. Transmission, range change not available. Phone removed, let's turn that off. All right, let's get that AC cranked up, man. Okay, she's running on her own now. Very nice. We got the air conditioning on, although it's not cold yet. I'm hoping that this thing raises up off the ground. I don't know, what do you guys think? Uh, I can't remember how this works. I think this is it right here. Select neutral for, oh, that's high and low gear. This is, this raises it up right there. Suspension, off-road selected. No, 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 no. We want, we don't want off-road, man. We're just like regular. Yeah, let's just do that. Uh, recommended low range is, yeah, yeah, we don't care. Recommend raising suspension, mud ruts. Can we just go to regular damn drive mode and just raise this thing up off the ground? I don't think she's raising up, guys. Maybe that's why it's totaled. Does it go into gear? Yep. Hey, I feel it go forward and backwards. AC is nice and cold, guys. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like the suspension is working at all. That sucks. Does the important window work? Yeah, sure does. Okay. Let's get out. Turn those lights completely off. Actually, let's put this window down a little bit. I don't. I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> I don't want the thing to lock itself on me. Nope, she's not moving. Not an inch, man. Suspension does not work at all. And those are massive wheels. These are 285, 35, 22s. 22s. Let's go take a look at the other side. See if anything is opening back there either. She's still sitting off a low, yeah. The front end is all the way. Ouch, somebody, uh, somebody whacks something over there. Huh. What do you guys think? I think if she don't come up off the ground, I'm not touching it. I also think she sounds like she runs pretty dang good. Listen to her. She purrs like a kitten, man. She really does. Lots of spider webs under there, too. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But there are uh, lots of spider webs. Which means she's been sitting a while. Guys, you tell me, does it not look like she has come up? Or maybe she is coming up a little bit at a time? I seem to remember this thing was squatting all the way down, front and back. She definitely looks like she's moved. Yeah, she's going up. There it goes. There it goes. It's, I'm watching it move right before my very eyes. 
Okay. Hey, <laughs> that's a game changer right there. Guys, if the suspension were, oh, hell yeah. Look at this. I don't know what took it so long, but there she goes. There she goes. She's still going up too. Okay. It just took her a minute to get adjusted. Hell, okay, you got my attention now. You got my attention. We've got cold air conditioning. Look, we got a cooler in here too. Oh, it blows ice cold air. Wow. That is that is actually really, really cold in there. She so got your little refrigerator. All right, well, time to move it backwards. Yes, it goes backwards. Yes, it goes forwards. Give her a little throttle there. Let me turn this AC down just a tad bit, guys. There we go. It's got ice cold air. Okay, she sounds healthy. She sounds healthy. It still says it's in, it's in like mud mode, which is kind of strange. Okay. Well, would you guys bid on this? Should we do it again? Should we do another Range Rover? <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't need to do another Range Rover, guys. But look at that. The suspension is nice and high now. I'm, I'm very satisfied with that. Okay, so here's what I think we're gonna do. Oh yeah, that's, is that smoke? Hold on. That is smoke coming out from underneath it. So you know what we're gonna do now? We're gonna shut it off immediately. Shut it off. Shut that sucker down. We're gonna get under the hood and turn off that uh, battery disconnect as well that quick disconnect. Let's go ahead and uh, turn off the booster pack and shut that switch off. The battery's still holding 10 volts or so, almost 11. That's probably oil, I would guess. Um, but I'm not taking a chance, guys. I'm just not taking a chance. Could be uh, transmission oil or something like that. I don't know, comment below. Do you think we should bid on the Range Rover or do you think we should leave this one alone? All right, next, 2007 Nissan Frontier, another pedal car, guys. So now you know what pedal is, right? You understand what a pedal car is now? All right, well, this is another one. And it looks to be in relatively good shape. It does have a cracked windshield, but the body looks good. The tires look good. Let's pop the hood and see what's going on under there. Four liter V6, the bungee strap, I like it. I dig that, I do. I, I, I respect the bungee strap, man. Where is the hood prop? Well, that's the real question, and I don't see it. If you guys know where the hood prop is supposed to be on this, or if you see it, there it is. There it is. There, I heard you. See? I heard you. You guys were yelling at me, and I, I caught you. There it is. All right. Is this listed as a run and drive? Hold on. Let's take a look. Yes, this is supposed to be a run and drive. 250,000 miles on the clock, guys. Let's go ahead and check the fluids. Make sure we don't have any pressure on the cooling system. We don't. Ah, did you hear that suction? It was holding a vacuum in the cooling system. Okay. <laughs> that, that could be the fault of a radiator cap. Believe it or not, the radiator cap is designed to release pressure and it's designed to pull a vacuum, which will pull coolant in from the coolant bottle over here, the expansion tank or the overflow tank, I think is what they actually call it on one of these. Um, no, this is an expansion tank as well. So, it looks like there's a little bit of coolant in there, guys. Let's see if we can check some, uh, check some fluids over here. There's the engine oil. Boy, that's a, they made that a bear to get to, didn't they? Real nice. Okay, hey, that doesn't look bad at all, does it? Not bad at all. Now I get to figure out how to put the dang thing back. I guess it'd been easier if we'd gone up from the top. I made it more difficult on myself there. There we go. 
There we go. Get in there. All right. This may be a manual transmission. Look over here, see if we see a trans dipstick. I think, yep, that's the trans dipstick right there, and we are not going to be able to get into that. It's got this weird tab on it, man, that makes it super difficult to get into. That's got power. It's even got an extra door. Look at that. Oh, and very nice jump seats. Boy, that looks super comfortable, doesn't it? With storage containers underneath. Very nice. Some of the cars that you find out here from Pedal Guys, it's uh, some of them are actually pretty nice. Oh, oh, she's got a misfire. I don't judge these things for having a misfire when I first start them up. It does concern me, but some of these cars have been sitting for a very long time, and sometimes it just takes a minute for them to come back to life. As you can see, we have a flashing check engine light right now, flashing airbag light, flashing TPMS light. Now, it could be something as simple as a coil or a spark plug. You would be surprised how many people give up on their cars because they just got older, they were wanting something newer anyway, and they were just waiting for something to happen, you know, waiting for something to break for them to just, you know, say, you know what, I'm done. I'm done with it. You'll also notice up here, we have a Precision Tune Auto Care Oil Change sticker. This is from Edmund. That tells you a little bit about it as well, being from Edmund, okay? People tend to service their cars either near where they work or where they live. So Edmond, for those of you that don't know, is kind of the richer area of uh, Oklahoma City out here. That's where a lot of the, you know, more affluent neighborhoods are. And you'll also notice the next service was due 5-5 five, five of 20. That was a year and a half ago <laughs> at 249. So it's got 249 on it. So, oh, it's also got no gas. That's worth noting. That can cause it to run awful too. Give it a little rev, see if it clears up any. No. No. It does not. Okay, so we got a we got a solid misfire or two. Ooh. She ain't happy about that. Or that. Brakes feel good. Steering feels good. Max AC does the important window work. Yes, it does. Honestly, guys, overall this truck looks to be pretty decent. Um I'll bet the AC works. It does. It's got cold air and everything, guys. Don't hit that truck, dang it. Don't do it. I'm just going to leave that sitting right there. As far as tires go, we got uh, oh, we got General Grabbers up front. Look at that. Nice tires up front. General Grabbers in the rear. we got pretty dang good tread on that as well. Um, the bed is super clean. Looks like it's probably never worked a day in its life tailgate works there's you a folded up coil spring right there uh oh <laughs> oh yeah okay let me uh, let me try to fix this here there we go <laughs> are you kidding me right now this is how we're gonna be this is how we're gonna be she don't want to close okay well guess what I'm not gonna fight you not going to fight you. There's probably a trick to it. General grabber over there and over there as well. I mean, it's got a nice set of tires. It started right up without a jump. I don't know how difficult these spark plugs are to change or the coils. Obviously, this side, super, super easy. You got three of them just sitting right there. On this side, though, they may be kind of buried under the intake there. I can see that one's easy to get to. That one could be a bear. <laughs> and, and the one right there, oh, that's definitely a bear. So this may be one you gotta take the upper plenum off. Still, you know, not a huge deal, guys. Not a huge deal. Yeah, I would, I would be somewhat interested in this, guys. I think we're gonna pull up the, uh, the auction and we're gonna take a look at what the bids are. So here it is, guys, 2007 Nissan Frontier SE, unknown, run and drive, Okay, clear, pedal-only title, and nobody's bidding on it. There's no pre-bids. Um, I don't know, guys. What do you think our What do you think our maximum bid should be? I'm gonna put 550. Okay, 550. Here we go. Ready? 
first bit of the day, guys. We are winning us an 07 Nissan Frontier. Now I wanted to circle back to this 2020 Volkswagen Jetta that we looked at before. Uh, it was listed as a non-running, non-driving vehicle originally uh, from insurance auto auctions. But one thing I noticed when I looked at the pictures, if you remember right, this car didn't have keys, okay? And I could have sworn that this, this car had keys in it, and it did. Oh, it smells awful in here. It did have keys. As you can see, somebody, uh, somebody stole them. Yeah, no joke, somebody stole them. That's still a thing. If you remember back in the day when I first started doing my Copart videos, uh, that, was a, that was a pretty big problem. That was a pretty big problem. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of restrictions had to be put into place that, uh, that makes it a lot harder for people to go out and view the cars in person for themselves. It makes it so much more difficult. A lot of people just don't bother with it anymore. Uh, and that's sad. I don't wanna see that happen, but I'm here to tell you guys, if you're out here jacking keys, number one, if you get caught, you're going to jail. But believe, I know it's theft. It's literally theft. You are stealing property from this place. Um, and you're costing people money. A car like this, if somebody buys it and they think that it has keys, imagine how upset they're gonna be to get it and find out that now they gotta pay hundreds of dollars for a key fob. It's absolutely ridiculous. Please, don't be petty, don't be cheap, and don't go jacking the keys out of these cars, man. Please. Last on my list today, a Volvo XC60. It's a 2015. It's a flood car. That's right, a flood car. It's also a hail car. Man, look at that hail damage. Yeah, she, she's rough. She's, wow, she's real rough. Look at that. Okay. Let's see how bad it is. Oh, whoa. whoa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's pretty, she's pretty bad. She's pretty bad. Okay. Yeah, I have no doubt this is not going to run. Um, I'm always suspect. You know, I always come out here and, uh, you know, I try to look, but when you see a car that's got its spark plug sitting in the front seat, well, a pretty good sign it's probably not gonna run. You wanna know how high the water got? Well, a lot of times it's real easy, especially on lighter color cars, to just follow the dirt. You can see this is how the, the water slowly went down over time. And you can see that it came up to probably about here. So for perspective, you know, well over the floor, still below the seat but uh, well over the rails for the seat and everything. And you could see the uh, the debris under there. So water got pretty high in this, guys. And this one's, uh, this one smells pretty bad. It smells real bad. We're gonna pop the hood. I do wanna take a look at the engine. Um, yeah, the water got real high in this one. And I do wanna put a jump on it. And I definitely wanna see if the engine just clicks or does it turn over. Like there, there's a lot of reasons one of these flood cars could not run. And part of that is, uh, you know, they removed the spark plugs and just left it torn apart. It may spin over just fine, but it's not gonna start because it doesn't have any spark plugs. Oh, they put the, uh, they put the engine cover back on it. Okay, well, I'll hook a jump pack up guys and we'll see if it does anything. All right, booster pack is on. Anybody want to place bets as to whether it's going to crank or not? Oh, it's still hard to breathe in here. Good night. I'm going to bet that she doesn't do anything at all. That's I'm going to bet that when you put the key in, it just like click. Uh. Hell, doesn't even click. It doesn't even sound like the starter's trying to engage. Press and hold start button until engine starts. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Start in progress. No, it's not. And look, look. <laughs> yeah. No, she's not gonna start, guys. She's not gonna start. I didn't expect it to start. I want to make that very clear. I didn't expect that it was going to start. Uh, I saw that one spark plug and I was like, no, nope, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Uh, but I was hoping that maybe with the spark plugs out, it would crank over or something. Give me some sign that there was still life. Uh, but she didn't. And, uh, you know, for that, we're going to walk away from it, leave it be. And that 
is going to be a wrap for this video, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Auto Auction Rebuilds. Until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all very soon in the next one.